Mr. Speaker, workforce development programs are spreading across the country because of organizations like Be Pro, Be Proud. In March of 2016, Be Pro, Be Proud was launched by the Arkansas Chamber of Commerce and the Associated Industries of Arkansas to serve the future leaders of America's workforce more effectively. Thanks to Be Pro, Be Proud, more young people know that they can find a good paying job and have a successful career without going to college. They have learned that there are alternatives to a baccalaureate degree, alternatives that can produce equal, if not better, outcomes. In June of this year, I had the privilege of traveling to Arkansas and attending the National Be Pro, Be Proud conference alongside Representative French Hill and Senator John Bozeman. The program, the progress that has been achieved today by this organization is remarkable. And in the realm of workforce development, its gains are second to none. In February of this year, officials in North Carolina signed a contract that established a Be Pro, Be Proud pilot program within the state. This is wonderful news indeed. As you can probably tell, Mr. Speaker, that this is truly a state-led effort that is a model to other states and becoming a national movement and one that is a force to be reckoned with. States need to know that the power is in their hands to implement strong and effective workforce development programs. They need to know that they, in fact, are in the driver's seat. Thank you to everyone who's worked so diligently to make Be Pro, Be Proud what it is today. The work you're doing will go on to leave a positive impact on America's future leaders for generations to come.